If you're playing CS2, you probably want to know how to play Aimbots, which is the super popular map from CSGO that allows you to warm up just before hopping into a competitive game. Well, even though CS2 workshop tools are out, you can't actually download anything from the workshop, so for now we'll need to resort to the age-old way of downloading custom maps. In the description down below, you'll find this tweet here from Ganguinho CS, where they're sharing a working Aimbots map in CS2. All you need to do is head across to this Google Drive link here and click download. Then once it's done downloading, what we need to do is navigate across to where the game is installed and place it in the maps folder. So I'll open up Steam, right click CSGO, manage and choose browse local files. Now inside of the Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder, you may think we go into CSGO, but no, go into game instead, followed by CSGO and then maps. Note that there's an extra game here, so it's not CSGO, it's game CSGO maps. This is the CS2 folder, so by placing the file in here, it's actually going to show up in game. You'll see in just a moment what it'll look like if it doesn't and what it does. If I play CS2 here and open the console using tilde, all we need to do is type in map space gg and you should see ggp aimbots pop up. If not, you've placed it in the CSGO maps folder rather than game CSGO maps. There's a small difference. Clicking on this to type in the whole name and hitting enter, it'll load us up into the aimbots map as you're used to now in CS2. Tomb. Obviously, this map is somewhat of a work in progress. It's not completely complete, as I've heard some people having issues searching for a match after playing this, as well as quitting and loading back in. For some reason, some of the bots just don't spawn. If you find that you have any issues with CS2 after playing this map, all you need to do is close it completely, and when you come back, everything should be working fine as before. So, hopefully, you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!